Well, howdy. So, for you who didn't know, I moved back to Ohio from Nevada about a little over a month ago. So, my parents gave me a barn to live in, and I decided to turn the hayloft into an apartment. So I've been working on that for about five, six weeks now. And it's very humid out today. This is my progress so far. Tearing these old beams out, putting in new two by tens. And right now I'm in the process of hauling all these two by tens up here. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's what I've been doing. And this is the loft. Estimating around 850 to 900 square foot. Single bedroom, two and a half bath, kitchen, full living space. So, I'll keep updates as I go. Uh, sorry I haven't made any videos in a long time. I've been kind of busy with the full-time job and doing this. So I figured I'd find time to make a video about what I'm doing. So stay tuned for the series. A lot more to come. So this is what I've been doing. So I got these oak six by sixes and that covers the entire floor. So I've been tearing those all out and I've been installing these ten, two by tens. And I've been just cutting these planks out with a chainsaw and just knocking them down. This makes it easier than prying them all up. I think it's just regular, regular white pine seems like. But uh, I'm dropping this entire floor six inches. And it'll make flush with this major, major cross beam right here. And I gotta, you can see down there, I added some six by sixes right there for the corner bracing. And I'm getting some plates made to install in this eight by eight right here. And then I'm gonna run cable it's an old school method to support the beam, so I'm using 3 8 steel braided cable and some tensioners to tighten those up.
So that's how you put a 2x10 in by yourself. I never suggest that. Especially white ones. They're heavy. And I'm taking a risk because no one's here. No one around. So if I fell, huh, I'm screwed. But you gotta do what you gotta do, right? This is my living quarters. My goal is next May, next June. This should be done. Like I said, be careful if you do this stuff by yourself. Always try to find help. It's a shame I, I've had no offers for help yet. I, mean, I got my mom and dad, but they're 70. You know, 70 year olds. They're not too strong and they're not too quick. So, find help. I'm not one for it to ask for it though. I don't know if it's self pride or something, but keep moving on, right?
Now it gets heavy. 